The Life and Career of the Black Panther, Eusebio. Introduction. The Football Hall of Fame is filled with legends. Names like Pele, Maradona, Cruyff, and many more are remembered for their incredible talents on the field. But what about the other players who have also earned their place in the Hall of Fame? Today, we're diving deep to discover another legend who deserves just as much praise. Meet Eusebio, also known as the Black Panther, or O'Ray. He was a force to be reckoned with on the field, known for his incredible speed, agility, and goal-scoring ability. Eusebio's career spanned over two decades, during which he won numerous awards and accolades, including the Ballon d'Or in 1965. He's also considered one of the greatest African footballers of all time. Eusebio may not be as well known as some of the other legends in the Football Hall of Fame, but his contributions to the sport are undeniable. He truly deserves his place among the all-time greats. Join us as we continue to discover and celebrate the legends of football. Early History Eusebio da Silva Ferreira Nicknamed the Black Panther, the Black Pearl, or O'Ray, was an African football legend. Born on January 25, 1942, in the small town of Maputo, Mozambique, Eusebio's early life was marked by struggle and hardship as the Portuguese ships rolled onto the shores of the African continent. Despite the difficult circumstances, Eusebio's family persisted through the colonial era. But unlike many of his peers, Eusebio's mind was set on greater things. Eusebio began his football career in his homeland, playing for local clubs before making his way to Portugal. It was there that he made a name for himself as a striker for the Portuguese national team and Benfica Football Club. Eusebio's incredible speed, agility, and goal-scoring ability earned him numerous awards and accolades, including the Ballon d'Or in 1965. He is considered one of the greatest African footballers of all time, and his contributions to the sport will never be forgotten. Eusebio's love for football began at a young age. Oftentimes, he would be seen skipping school just to play a game of football with his friends. Despite the lack of resources, they were determined to play on the streets of Maputo. They even used a ball made of rolled up newspapers and socks. Eusebio, being of a humble nature, reported that the football of his time was still purer because it was not as commercialized as it is today. Players played for the love of the game and the thrill of competition instead of the big money involved in it. Eusebio's love for the game and humble attitude towards it made him one of the best players in the world and a true legend of football. Eusebio was a traditional player who believed in the perfection of the most basic elements of football. He believed that the key to mastering the game was to be found in the streets, playing with a ball made of rolled up newspapers and socks. This notion was considered primitive by some, but it was this approach that helped him craft his unique playing style. Eusebio was not critical of the technology and metrics that are used in today's game for developing players. He was more focused on playing and perfecting his skills than perfecting the technology and then playing. He believed that true mastery of the game comes from putting in the hours and practicing the basics. Eusebio believes in the perfection of the most basic elements of football. For him, the key to mastering the game is to be found in the streets, playing with a ball made of rolled up newspapers and socks. He used to say, this may be considered primitive, but it's how I crafted my playing style. Eusebio's approach to the game was unorthodox, but it was this dedication to mastering the basics that made him one of the best players in the world and a true legend of football. Amateur Career Eusebio's career began as an amateur player for a local team called Os Brasileiros, the Brazilians. Little did this young boy from Mozambique know that he would one day be a Hall of Famer for this sport. In 1957, he moved to a local club in Mozambique called Sporting Club Lorenco Marquez, where he officially started his professional career. Mozambique being a Portuguese colony, Eusebio had the opportunity to expose his playing style to the public and the European giant of the time. His fan base slowly grew, and scouts from a club in Lisbon spotted him. He soon found himself playing for the legendary club SL Benfica in Lisbon. But that was just the beginning 
of his story. Eusebio's talent and skill on the field quickly made him a fan favorite, and he helped lead Benfica to numerous victories and titles. He also earned himself a spot on the Portuguese national team, where he shone on the international stage. Eusebio's career was filled with memorable moments and achievements, and his legacy continues to inspire future generations of football players. He is a true legend of the game and his contributions to football will never be forgotten. He was actually playing for Sporting Club de Portugal's Feeder Club, and the club wanted to take him in as a junior player without any monetary compensation. But the rival club, Benfica, recognized his potential and potential marketing advantages due to his local reputation. So they went straight to his mother and offered her a thousand euros at the time for a three-year contract. Eusebio's brother demanded double the amount, and they accepted it in a heartbeat. Eusebio was framed in the media as having turned against Lisbon's sporting club, but he later clarified that the club was trying to get him for free, and Benfica recognized his potential and was willing to pay. This rivalry between the two clubs was so intense that Eusebio fled Lisbon because he thought he was prone to being kidnapped by sporting fans. Career at Benfica Joining Benfica was perhaps the greatest achievement for Eusebio. As a young player in the 1950s, he quickly established himself as one of the best players in the world. And his career at Benfica was nothing short of legendary. He appeared 715 times and scored 727 goals for the club, winning numerous titles and accolades along the way. Eusebio spent 14 seasons with Benfica, amassing 5 League Cups, 11 titles, a European Cup, and 9 Lisbon Cups. He became a beloved figure at the club, and his contributions to their success will never. In 1975, Eusebio decided to move on from Benfica, and he joined the North American Soccer League, NASL, to play for the Boston Minutemen. Although his time in the NASL was brief, Eusebio's impact on the game was felt around the world, and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest footballers of all time. International Career Eusebio not only excelled at club level, but also on the international stage, representing Portugal with distinction. He appeared in 64 games for the country, scoring 41 goals. One of the highlights of his international career was the 1966 World Cup, where he won the Golden Boot and led Portugal to a third-place finish. Eusebio's performances during the tournament earned him the World Cup Bronze Ball, and he cemented his reputation as one of the best players in the world. He also knocked out Brazil and the famous player Pelé in the group stages, leading some to consider him as competitive as Pelé. Eusebio was the leading Portuguese player, and by the time he retired from international football, he held the record for most caps and goals for Portugal. However, these records have since been broken. He transformed the Portuguese team, and one could notice that the team played similarly to him in terms of pace, technique, and athleticism. Join us as we continue to discover and celebrate football legends, and Eusebio is one of them. Individual Achievements Eusebio's achievements are not limited to just his team's successes. He is a Hall of Famer and a legend of the sport for a reason. He was an astonishing and brilliant player, boasting a Ballon d'Or in 1965, one of the most prestigious individual awards in football. He was also listed in the FIFA 11th team in 1963 and 1967, a team of the best players in the world at the time. Eusebio also won the Bola de Prata, Silver Ball, seven times, which is a Premier League award for the top scorer, and he holds the record for winning it the most. In 2004, he was added to FIFA's list of the FIFA 100, a list of the greatest living football players. Di Stefano, one of the biggest players in the sport, reported in 2014 that for him, Eusebio was and always will be the best player of all time. Eusebio was also voted the ninth best player in the 20th century by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics, further cementing his legacy as one of the greatest players of all time. Playstyle Eusebio was a forward for his teams and was often praised for his shot power, accuracy, and dribbling techniques. He was known for scoring many goals from outside the box, and often goalkeepers would tremble when it was time for him to take a free kick near the box. The balls at the time were made from leather and were comparatively heavier than today's balls. 
but Eusebio used to run, dribble, and shoot the ball as if it weighed like a feather. Despite his heavy and muscular figure, he was quick on his feet, able to move through defenders with ease, breaking their line, and scoring goals. Eusebio did not shy away from using his maximum power to shoot the ball, and most of his shots can be seen flying to the top corners of the goalpost. His powerful shots, quick footwork, and amazing accuracy made him one of the most feared strikers of the time. Ending Remarks Eusebio was and always will be an ambassador of football and is one of the most recognized players of his generation. His name is listed in all forums as one of the greatest players and is still remembered as one of the greatest players of all time by many footballers, particularly by other legends such as Alfredo Di Stefano. Eusebio's traditional street-playing style of football is still cherished by billions of children around the world, keeping the culture alive. He earned himself the titles Black Panther, Black Pearl, and O'Ray because of his agility, speed, freak athleticism, and ferocious shooting power. He was also recognized as the Black Pearl because he was one of the most prized players in Portugal and Benfica. Before retiring with the New Jersey Americans, Eusebio played with many clubs after leaving Benfica. He headed to the Boston Minutemen, then Monterey, Toronto Metros Croatia, where he also won another title in 1976, and then to SC Bear Amar, Las Vegas Quicksilvers, and Union de Tomar. In total, he scored 790 goals in 809 games. Eusebio's scoring probability was incredibly high. With a score probability of 0.9765, he could be expected to score in almost every game he played. His consistency and ability to score goals in almost every match earned him legendary status in the football community. Eusebio's contributions to football will never be forgotten. He is a true legend of the sport, and his legacy continues to inspire future generations of players. Join us in celebrating the life and career of Eusebio, the Black Panther, the Black Pearl, and O'Ray of football. Thank you for watching.